In recent years, caribou and moose hair tufting has gained popularity as modern beadworkers have included this technique into their jewelry. However, as we've been seeing it more, its history and story has been left out of the conversation. Let's fix that. Marie Madeleine Bouvier was the first tufting artist and is also my great, great, great grandmother. Her story was that she was traveling with the Grey Nuns in the North during the First World War. During this time, crafting materials were hard to find, and the nuns had used up all their embroidery and punchwork supplies. Marie was Dene Métis, and as Dene, she held the generational artisanal teachings, including those of moose hair that have been used for hundreds of years in many techniques. Embroidery, tassels, even weaved into our famous quill weave belts to add texture and beauty. Moose hair and Dene have a bond together. These techniques are uniquely Dene. Marie collected the white guard hairs of the moose and began to tuft with it, showing the nuns how to use the moose hair to create raised round floral designs. The nuns had claimed this technique as their own and taught it to girls in residential school. Meanwhile, Marie taught tufting to her daughters, my great great grandma Julie included. Tufting was something unique to Dene and carries a lot of meaning through generations of women. Tufting has been a huge part of me reconnecting to my culture and my family. Now that tufting is being popularized again, I ask that people remember that it is Dene art and remember my grandma and the amazing artist that she is. That this isn't just hair, it's Dene legacy and inheritance. The beauty of the woman in my family stitched and trimmed into beautiful florals on velvet and frames, secured onto mucklecks and mitts and on earrings edged with gold beads. The luxury of the North and the gift of her animals.